we have here an HP and the power supply unit seems to be out because we can hit the power button and then no power. I have it plugged in. I'll unplug it before I start. But here's the new power pack. Cost me forty dollars. First thing we want to remove is these two screws from the back. They do not come completely out, they just hang there so you don't lose them. Okay, put your hands in here, your fingers, pull it, the side comes off. Put it out of the way. Now just take your cabinet, turn it around where you can get into it. Here's the power supply. Now to get this thing here out of the way, it says push. What you want to do, it says to push in on these, but what I do is I push on the inside of it. And see how it pushes them out. Hmm. A little dirty. Put it out of the way. Now we want to unplug all of our connections here that are coming out of your power supply. Okay, on this model HP, nothing is really labeled, but you can pretty much tell these are the power to the, to the hard drives and to your drives. And this is the power to your smaller drives. So these are all power cords. You may have some extras. Okay, now you also have the power cord that's connected to the motherboard. It's right here. Move all your straps out of the way and you can see we'll just unsnap it and pull it out. You also have this wire here, black and yellow. It's running down to the motherboard also. We'll take and unplug that one. Now that we have all of our wires disconnected, we're going to have to move our drive. This here is the DVD or CD-ROM drive. We're going to pull it out the front a little bit so we can actually pour our power supply out. Okay, we have to take this front cover off so you lift this top up. There's a little hole right here. Take a Phillips screwdriver in there, preferably, or something that'll fit in this hole. Push it down. And this cover should come off. Just lift it up, put it out of the way. Okay, next we will take out the screws for your either DVD or your CD-ROM. If you just have screws on one side like mine does, now you should just push the drive forward. Don't worry about unplugging the strap from it. Just push it out far enough to where you can have room to get your power supply out. You may have to unbolt the top one and do the same thing for it also depending on how far it sticks back. Next we will unbolt the power supply. Okay bolts are out. Now we'll turn it around. Pull it out. put the other one in. Okay, this is a different looking power supply, 200 watt. May look different, but it's got all the same hookups and it'll bolt in just the same as uh, the one that came out. There we go. Pop it in there and then we'll bolt, and we'll bolt it up. See, it looks different, but the patterns and everything will bolt up just the same. Okay, I use this uh, screwdriver here got a torque on it keeps me from stripping out my the heads of my screws works pretty good now we got it all bolted up now we just uh, turn around and hook up our wiring get it all hooked up and uh, we will push the drive back in and bolt it up now we'll take this little wire here with the black and yellow on it and we will Plug it back up down on the motherboard right there. 
there we go it'll only go in one way or at least it should after I'm done hooking all these wires up I'll take it downstairs and I will lightly blow air through it to clean the dust out of it before I put everything back together the next wire is the main wire for the motherboard I'll put it down here and plug it in and it should also only go one way now all the rest of these wires here will go to your drives your hard drive CD-ROM DVD and your three and a half inch drive if you have one okay now we're going to push the drive back in this is the DVD drive just going to bolt it down try not use magnets because a magnet can erase your hard drive or magnetic tips yeah I try not to get anything magnetic around my computer Okay, all the wires hooked back up as you can see. I have one wire on this power supply. Uh, I have no place on here to put this wire, so I just tied it off. It was not on my other power unit, so probably not used in this in this uh, particular model. I'm going to put this front cover back on here and just slide it on here. Slide it down. Pop it in place. That's good. Now we'll take it downstairs and blow the dust out of it. Okay, it's kind of dark in here. I blowed it out. And uh, there was a lot of dust in it. I don't really know if you can tell or see the difference. But uh, yeah, it's a whole lot cleaner now. Now we'll put this cover back on there. Okay, we got our air direction piece in place. Play with it a little bit, get the wires out of the way, it will go in, snap it into place and you'll be alright. We got it plugged in, let's see if it comes on. Yep, there it is. And there's XP, working good now. Back in business. The only thing left to do now is put the side cover on it and tighten the bolts back up.